We're gonna drink some bears. So feast your eyes on this. Uh, there's one Berliner blend will be two and a half to three gallons, and the other portion will be this saison sour. This is the company that is providing the yeast, and I'm really excited to try this stuff. Uh, so the fermentation will take a little while and uh, then I'll be bottle conditioning all of it so that will take also a little while but uh, in the end there'll be a video and we will see what these products do and uh, looking forward to it. Let's go over the recipe real quick. Now I am going to try to do end up with six gallons so this recipe is uh, slightly different. Um, I'm keeping it pretty simple. It's going to be a pale wort of around 1050. So for 6 gallons I'm doing 11.5 pounds raw pills, 0.6 pounds of uh, caramel 20. If you were doing 5 gallons, um, <clears throat> you could do about 9.5 pounds of the pills and 0.5 of the caramel. Uh, the hops, I'm going for very low number of IBUs, 7 or less. So I'm doing half ounce of this uh, Czech Zaz of 3% alpha acid uh, for the 60 minute half ounce. I'll probably throw in the remaining at the end um, just for grins and I'll be using the cheap and easy mash ton which I think I've actually if I think about it, I think I started brewing all grain in 2005 so that's uh, coming up on 10 years ago. I should look up when my first batch was. I'm not going to film the whole uh, brewing process because that's the same as I've always pretty much done. Um, I'll probably pick it up when I'm getting the wort into the carboys. Okay so I will wrap this up for you. Uh, everything went very well. Um, I ended with, I usually do five gallons. That's kind of how my whole you know thing is set up. So what happened is I ended with 2.75 gallons in each one. I poured it out uh, evenly um, so it's just under this line and uh, so then I added uh, what a quarter gallon of water uh, to each one to bring it up to three and then I shook each of them uh, separately which was to mix the water in with the wort and that was the aeration in addition to pouring um, you know the wort through my funnel which is you know, now sitting on top of that pitcher, but I pour it, I pour it in there so it gets aerated that way. Now, normally I would also aerate with a pure oxygen system, but I'm not going to do that um, because I feel like the aeration has been enough. And with these types of things, if you have critters in there, sometimes you don't want to do that. Anyway, uh, so then I uh, took the gravity after I had shaken it up. I took a little bit of sample out of each carboy just to kind of get it mixed and uh, it's about 1052 so that was roughly where I was uh, thinking I would end up so I've got six gallons of 1052 I pitched the uh, Saison Sour in here it brought it up to just a little bit over three now this one I was seeing you can see the the white line or the line here that's a little bit more above three so I think there was actually a tiny bit more quantity of stuff in this packet but uh, they're at about well let's see here 66 68 degrees so I'm gonna bring them upstairs cover them with some t-shirts and we'll see what happens it's been about 24 hours I wanted to do an update and show you guys what's going on they're um, bubbling uh, my house is only 68 these days. It's still in the late to mid spring, so I've got them nice and covered up. And this one is the Berliner. It is keeping itself about 70. It's got that type of a croisin going on. It's doing its thing. The other one is got a slightly different looking. Croizen. Um, I should get another shot of the Berliner. And this one's interesting. It's keeping itself slightly warmer, I've noticed, for whatever reason. Um, but it also is chugging away. Let me look at this again here. 
Yeah, this one looks more, I don't know, like soap bubbles, which uh, it's not. This one looks more like a cre creme, creamier one. Anyway, off to a good start. See what happens. I wasn't planning on doing another video update, but I came in here and saw that. I mean, that's that much higher. You saw it yesterday. Yesterday was 24 hours after brewing. Um, now it's, what, 48 plus 8 or 9 hours, so... Yeah, they're both uh, 72 to 74, but the Berliner... Now, the colors are different too. It almost looks to me like this one is settling down. The top of it is below, you know, the high point. It's, it's down, whereas this thing is, is going more today, so that's interesting. And to me, the one on the left is clearer and just, what, more of a yellowish color uh, just like it's uh, settling out already and in fact you can see too down there as compared to not much settling there so anyway that's how these things are performing okay I want to do a quick update I racked them out of the primary it's been 10 days and uh, the Berliner was 1.006, this one was 1.005, and they look about the same. The Berliner, the one on the right, is actually a little bit clearer at this point. Um, they have not really been fermenting much for a number of days. They seem to go pretty fast. Um, quick initial tasting, neither of them are showing much signs of sourness but they're both uh, nice beers and they are different um, start with the Berliner I guess because it's the more straight ahead it sounds like it's they call it a neutral ale yeast with some um, lacto in there but then they talk about a saison yeast at the end of the description I don't know if that's a misprint or if it is actually kind of a saison yeast It tastes more like a wheat beer yeast to me, almost. Um, basically, it just tastes like a kind of a nice, clean beer with a little bit of like a wheat beer yeast kind of taste. Uh, they did ferment 70 to 72 to 74, so really just kind of at that low end of the temperature range for getting the sourness. I'm thinking maybe the sourness will still come, so I'm going to let them sit in these three-gallon carboys for a while. This one, on the other hand, the Saison, has um, quite a bit more going on already. I mean, if I gave this to somebody, they would just say, yeah, that tastes like a Saison. tastes like a, a farmhouse uh, ale. It has, um, there's bread in there. You can get that already. Um, some Saison, typical Saison notes. Um, it's very nice. I mean, it's a little more complex, a little more interesting, but they're both nice beers. We're going to let them sit for a while. I'll see if any pellicles form. I'll see if, uh, yeah, maybe I'll pull a little sample in a, in a little while. We're going to be getting into some warmer temperatures hopefully in the next month or two. And uh, maybe the temperature of the carboys as they sit around will go up. And we will see what happens. Alright, so uh, I'm doing a check-in on these uh, Giga Yeast 1 Sour Saison Berliner Blend. Let me go back. May 19th. It is now October 4th, so it's not quite five months later. Um, look at these gravities. The Sour Saison was, I forget what it was before, but it's really, really low right now. The other one is about the same. Um, the good news is both of them are coming along in the flavor development and um, Neither of them was particularly interesting after about a week and a half, which I really wish I would have just let them sit in the primary longer. If you're ever going to do a beer like this, and I guess I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I would have let them sit maybe a month. I think I let them go only like 10, 11 days. So they have uh, continued to develop flavor-wise. 
Um, sour Saison is actually getting kind of sour now. It was not really there at all. It was just kind of Saison-y. Definitely there's an acidity, there's a sourness in there that is, is coming and it's quite nice. The Berliner blend, uh, there is a little bit of tartness in there that is, should be from the lactic. Um, and that was not really there either. So they're both developing. Now the problem is now it's going to be winter here. Uh, fall is upon us. Uh, I don't know how much they would change over the cold temperatures, but I also would like to get them packaged at some point. So I think at this point I'll just give them another period of time, maybe like a month or so, um, and take another reading, and then I doubt it will be changing much more at this point, especially that Saison. Either of them, really. I think they're probably at their final gravities. And get them packaged, and, uh, you know, they'll continue to age and change in the bottle. Ooh, baby. I'm not going to talk a lot about exactly what I did today, but uh, all of the Giga Yeast batches are bottled. Uh, I just wanted to do a shot while they're all, you know, out there together right now. Sour Saison, that's uh, three gallons there. And the middle part, um, three gallons of Berliner blend. You can see that one there. And then uh, five gallons of this one, Sour Cherry Funk, that's an F. Uh, mild, so I got some cork tops, and then I have a whole nother case of that. So this was a long day of bottling. I had to stay home with a sick child, so I was able to take advantage of the time off and 11 gallons of beer all bottled. Okay, these beers are ready to be drunk. I got Dawson in the house. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for having me. Um, these beers, the Saison Sour and the Berliner blend are now about 10 months old. We are cracked into March and I made them in May of last year. The Berliner got down to 10.05 and we are going to give it a try. Oh, okay, let me uh, give a quick uh, rundown. This is as I saw in the beginning of the video, Berliner blend, Gig Yeast, uh, GB122. Description, blend of neutral ale yeast and lactic acid bacteria. Tasting notes, sour with subtle ester character. Creates the classic Berliner Weiss style, sour with a hint of hops and malt. Now, they say hops, but they also tell you to minimize the hop bill and the IBUs. They say more than 7 IBUs, gravity above 1050 or temps below 65 will increase time to sour or lead to reduced overall souring. So, they're saying low IBUs, warmer temperatures, low gravity. I tried to do that as best I could. I don't know if I, how much I talked about this in the video earlier. It was probably a little over 1050. It was fermenting around 70. Not as warm as would be ideal. Um, fairly low IBUs though. So, I mean, I was close to those marks. And now it's 10 months in. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have these... All of these Giga Yeast beers are around for years, some of them, because they're all bottled, all bottled condition. I think I get a little bit of sourness, a tinge of sourness in the nose. And there certainly is a tinge of sourness in the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not overly tart mm -hmm. by any means. Probably not even as tart as a real traditional good Berliner Weiss, maybe. I think one thing that may be skewing this sample is the gravity. I feel like there's more residual malt character in this than like in a Schonk beer version that would come in at like OG of 1030, 1028, something like that. Oh, okay. Um, I, I get some sourness in the nose as well uh, and this almost rose-like ester. Mm. Uh, you know when you said ester that kind of clicked for me because there's oh. something something else going on there um, that I'm I'm smelling and then like some uh, pretty warm bready malt character there is. yeah I think the um, the malt comes through really well in the flavor there's hints of sourness but it's not um, you know I'd be curious what the pH is which mm -hmm. is kind of like an objective yeah. number but perception wise I think maybe because of that bigger body it doesn't read as 
uh, it's as a good tart. So as... a 1040 beer instead of like a 1052 beer or whatever this was, or 10, 20, 35 or 1030 would be might, a different final product. Might be um, just the mouthfeel from the, you know, I know you said 1005 was the final gravity, so obviously it fermented mm -hmm. way down there, but there's just still some... Uh, some proteins and, and uh, limit dextrins and things like that. Do you uh, think a beer like this bigger grain bill? could get more sour with sitting time, around? With time, that seems plausible. And especially when the place that it's sitting right now gets warmer, which it gets warmer in the summertime. Mm -hmm. my, my cellar does get warmer when those uh, bacteria would be able to be happier. You said, you said you were going to have them for years, so I, will. I'll I find think you'll out. be able to find out. Just... To not have to mess around with any difficult practices or procedures to make a beer sour, just to buy this culture, make a pale wort, dump it in or ferment it out, you get a, a Berliner Weiss uh, type of a beer. It's going to be really refreshing on a hot day, I think. There's mm -hmm. quenching, mm -hmm. as they say. Yeah. All right, well, let's... Uh, I'm ready to move on. you have any other... Hot summer day versus cold March night. Cold March probably, night. Probably be a different story in a few months. We got we don't have canoe cam, but I do have mash ton cam, which uh, can do a quick quick uh, glimpse of. We're making a, basically uh, another India pale lager. All right. We're back. Um, Never went anywhere. We're back. We're now doing the Saison Sour GB124. This beer went down to 1.002 from 10.53. The other one was 1.005. Description, blend of Saison ale yeast and lactic acid bacteria. Now the other one was neutral ale yeast and lactic acid bacteria. Tasting notes, I hope you're sitting down for this. Sour with fruity esters and black pepper. You know, one thing you can say about the Giga Yeast people, they don't waste your time. They're not going to make you read some trope about all the wonderful flavors, all the wonderful complexities. But they just told us about the flavors. In like, one, two, three, four, six words. That was more than six words, dude. Sour with fruity esters and black pepper. You're right. Seven. Anyway... E.E. E. Cummings, you know, they're fans. Red Wheelbarrow, look it up. I don't need to, man. You know William, that stuff? William Carlos Williams. Is that E.E. E. Cummings? Let's talk about the beer. You know what? Somewhere there's English majors that know what I'm talking about. Don't write in. I was one. I was two. Oh, snap. <laughs> I, I definitely, I definitely get professors are rolling on their couches with their pipes. At right least now. we can smell the black pepper in this. I definitely, I definitely get the black pepper. Yeah. So there's, there's this beer, in my mind, has a uh, greater level of uh, flavor profile uh, and more things going on, uh, and that makes sense because the Berliner blend is a neutral ale yeast with the lactic. So, neutral is pretty neutral, mm -hmm. with a little bit of sourness. This beer is the Saison yeast, so I don't know what, you know, Saison yeast necessarily, but they're known for giving you uh, some of those spicy characters. William Carlos Williams was uh, red number five, wasn't it? I do not know. You should probably edit that out. Do not know. Cut it out, said the Fuller House. Uh, My phone's dead or I'd look it up. I also get... Uh, some bubble gum, uh, and some white grape in the nose. This is a white grape. Yeah, like a it's tannic like, uh, sharp, no, like a riesling or a really fruity. Okay, German wait, I, white. I know what you mean. I said tannins, but like a grape skin uh, peeling, the 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 bitter. No. I, I think, know. I, I, would, I think I'm I talking would... about the same thing, and I'm using the bad words. Bad words. That's what English majors do. An acidic taste, almost. A white wine. I get the that character in the aroma, and it's like a really fruity German white wine grape uh, that I'm thinking of. I don't get that in the flavor as oh. much as I do in the aroma. And in the flavor, like, 
that more earthy, bitter, herbal quality that maybe you were thinking of with tannin. I can well, I there get is, more of that in the flavor. Um, there is also the sourness that is going with the, the spicy mm -hmm. and the pepper. Mm -hmm. And it kind of is hard to separate uh, the flavors because they're... Mm -hmm. I feel like a Spinal Tap thing. Mm -hmm. It's like... Yeah, the band and the crowd and they're like one shit sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's really a two word review. We were saying off camera, uh, right after you poured the beer, is this more sour than the version with the Berliner Brett? I'm not sure. I think the perceived acidity is higher in this one. And hmm. That might be a function of the lower it's a final lower, gravity, slightly it's, lower gravity. It's much more scoured out um, mm. than than the other one, which he, isn't a bad thing. I thought it was interesting that I thought that he knew this, but he apparently was unaware that it was the same batch of wort split, which you all know because you just watched the whole stupid video of them fermenting side by side and me making it and all that business. And he thought that there was wheat maybe in the Saison. In the Ber Berliner. Oh, in that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Which, at any rate. I've had three hours of sleep. There isn't. Yeah, so that was part of this experiment. The experiment was twofold. What do the different yeast, these two different yeast blends contribute how do they develop a, a, a simple golden wort that was one part of it the other one was do they give you a result that seems uh, more complex more interesting different than if you are just pitching a straight ale yeast or a straight uh, even a belgian yeast or a lager yeast with this lactic thrown in there and these are kind of we, we call them like all-in-ones you get kind of a sour funky beer with just pitching this blend um which that's been around for a while i mean the rosler blend has been around for a while yeah, and i don't know how I'm, long they've been available but it seems like it's more common yeah. now there's yeah more more people doing it i think and we were talking off camera as well about how that's probably more representative of the way these beers would be traditionally brewed like it would be a more incidental and simultaneous <laughs> inoculation with the microbes, right? Like, nobody in the 1800s was doing a kettle sour with pure lacto and then boiling it and adding sack afterwards. They were just drinking a beer and going, Mein Gott ist sauer! Right? Sawyer? I don't know. Sauer? Sauer? Sauer, sauer, sauer Bratzen? Sauer. sauer. I don't know how to speak Deutsch. Ich spreche kein Deutsch. Well, I guess this that, has been illuminating. I'm I guess sorry. that about wraps it up. Cut it out. Cut it. Well, my camera ran out of video footage area, and uh, we were just about to wrap it up anyway. So, thank you to Giggy Yeast for sending the samples. Thank you to Mr. Dawson for coming over, and thank you guys for watching all of this stuff. And comment away if you like. Uh, the other only thing I would say is if you've ever wanted to try to make a wild, funky, or sour beer, but you don't want to go through too many difficult steps to make it happen, look into these different yeast blends that are available. All of these Giga Yeast ones that I've tried will give you some kind of a decent result, and there's plenty of other ones too. So give it a try if you're interested. Catch you later.